Michael, would you like to explain to the folks what the Institute for Scientific Validation does? So the Institute is a 501c3. It's philanthropically funded and driven. And it stands as a very unique platform to go and validate medical opportunities or what we call medical miracles to be able to substantially prove that they work where otherwise many of these opportunities just wouldn't make it through the process where these types of medical miracles come to us for us to match the philanthropy and then match the best in class research. I, I need to share with you a personal story so you'll understand why I've shifted to be the front of the spear of the, of the philanthropic component. It's almost a year today when I got a phone call that my wife wasn't feeling well and she was diagnosed with stage four renal cell carcinoma of the brain and her life expectancy was not very favorable. And it was at that moment where the whole world of sadness and impact of, you know, a medical devasta uh, devastating diagnosis. Yeah, that comes to you that I saw the world differently for that moment. I saw it as, wow, this happens to a lot of people. Yes. Right? And, and, and they may not have options. They may just listen and follow whatever is what they think is the best advice that they're getting. And it may be the best advice. Fortunately for me, and, and I didn't realize this initially, I had a network of amazing people from around the world with amazing products already in our pipeline. And as we started down the traditional paths of trying, you know, of doing the things that we had to do, there came a point in time where we just had to say, what else, what other opportunities are there? And that was a big shift because I went from being the CEO of a corporation to the client because now I was in a race to save my wife's life. Right. And I spent countless evenings just on my bed just crying, thinking, oh, my God, this is the worst thing. And, and I realized there's so, there are so many other people that have the same experience and they don't know there's nothing else to do. Right. Just go through the regular they, right, they chemo. Go through, well, whatever it is. Whatever. And that's when I said, damn it, I got a responsibility here. There are medical miracles that are used around the world for these things, but for whatever is the reason, lack validation here in the United States. Perhaps it, a lot of it is because it wasn't invented here, right? So there's that whole not invented here kind of thing. For me, it's not about that. For me, it's all about does it work? And if it works... Let's prove it does, and let's bring it to the people that are in the distribution. Yeah. Everybody's got to win, right? Yes. From, a, from a, a passionate point of view, everything changed. The shift to, hey, I'm running a business, became a shift to, oh, my God, I have a responsibility of saving people's lives. And that's huge. And so I took it on, full force, and really started to take some of these amazing things and bringing them into some of the best universities around the country to get their attention to say, what should we do? And so we've got an incredible anti-cancer drug that is in trials right now. That is why we've got the agreement signed, if you will. Mm -hmm. It already has an FDA orphan drug approval. Orphan drug approval. And cool. now I have to just get the philanthropic funding to finish the you know, studies. Get the studies. Yes. They yeah. don't even have to be finished. We just have to have enough traction where we can then get them into distribution. The philanthropy has yes. a crazy license because it's not answering to corporate America yep. or shareholders or profit. That's right. But the mission is do no the right green. thing. Yeah. And when you can show how everyone is going to win in this, no one can argue. So when my friends say to me, how the heck do you get up, go to work, and go fight this fight? Well, I'm fighting it because you know what? There's going to be a point where someone in your family, if not yourself, is going to get one of these same crazy events happen in their life that alter the path that you're on. And I want to make sure that you've got some other opportunities, some other available that are proven, that are accepted opportunities. You know, I try to live my life and say, there's the silver lining, right, when things it, happen. Exactly, and, and that's what we talked about before the show, is that something so devastating to your entire family, mm. okay, the entire structure of your life, your business, your, your, your bride, your, your children, Everything got turned upside down and inside out. Amen. And what you did is you took that and said, you know what? 
running a business is a beautiful thing, but man, when you flip this around and you do something to have impact and legacy for other people, are you kidding me? Whole different level. And here's the greatest part. This isn't a 10 year journey. This isn't, we're inventing something. Mm -hmm. This is, hey, here it is. It already works. But we haven't been able to get anyone to give us the unbiased scientific validation. I just want to find the better outcomes for people. Right. And I want people to be able to participate in that. And philanthropy doesn't have a rule set that says you can do this or you can't do that. You do what you want. It's your money. Exactly. Thank you for watching. The fact is, we can't do this alone. Please reach out to us. Visit our website. We all win in this one. Thank you.